People always want to know where I get my scope cam footage, and I'm going to show you how to do it today on Airsoft Science using totally free video editing software. Okay, to start this whole process off, you're going to need three files. You're going to need a red X and a scope, and they have to be .png files. But just do a Google search for these, find the one that you like, click on it, right click, um, save image as, and save it somewhere on your, uh, your hard drive. You're going to need them here in a couple minutes to uh, do this. But there are literally hundreds of scope and uh, red X .pngs that you can find and you can download and then we're gonna import them into Shotcut. Uh, link is down in the description. It's a free download, it's free software to use and this is what it looks like when it first comes up. So you type in the name of your project file, you hit save and then you'll come into your playlist and this is where you're gonna stick the files you're gonna use in your video and it's really easy. Just highlight them, drag and drop them right into the playlist and you're ready to go. Next, we want to right click this bar. We want to add a video track, and this is our scope cam footage here. Let's play it, and you can see it's very, very long because I start and stop my scope cam for every shot. But you can see Sky Pedestrian come walking around the corner, and there's the shot. You can see him reacting to it. So I'm going to stop it here, and you can see the video clip is highlighted in red. Click the cut icon right click the part that you just cut off and click remove next we're going to click the far left icon it's going to take us back to the beginning of the clip we're going to start playing it and i want to find a good start point someplace that's interesting probably about there highlight it cut it and remove it and here we have our entire video clip here now something i like to do is i i, I tend to be a little jerky when i play so we're going to go to properties and on speed, I'm going to set it to 0.75. So it's going to be 75% 7, of normal speed, which is going to elongate it a little bit. But this time, you see when I play it, it's a little bit smoother. At least it looks like that to me. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some filters here. And the first one we're going to add is we're going to add size and position. And this lets us take our footage and we're going to center it. So I'm going to play this forward until I get to the point where uh, the center of Luke's chest is showing where I hit him right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Next we're going to add another filter. We're going to add rotate and scale. We're not going to rotate it but we're going to scale it up to 150 percent. We're going to enlarge it just a little bit. And there it is enlarged. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Next thing we want to do is we want to add another video track. Go back to our playlist. We're going to grab our scope and pull our scope down. And uh, go ahead and make sure it's at the start position. You see it's just a little bit too long. We're going to hit the right arrow with the bar in front of it. And then just remove that extra piece. There's actually another way to do that. I'll show you in a couple minutes. But here is what it looks like without the uh, scope PNG not being resized. And the the process that we used for the scope footage we're going to use it um, for the for the actual crosshairs also so take it to about the point where Luke gets hit in the chest and that is where I'm going to center my crosshair and then we're going to grab uh, size and position we're going to position a crosshair in the middle of his chest now shotcut has like a little error in it it automatically makes that bigger whenever you hit size and position for some reason. But I'm going to go to rotate and scale and make my scope at 120%. But here you'll see it's still not centered. So let's go back to our scope footage. We're going to move it over just a little bit. And then we're going to highlight our uh, crosshairs. And we're going to move those back over his chest to where it looks like it's about centered. And that looks like about right. Let's go back to the beginning of the footage and look at it again. And I'm actually kind of happy with that. You can see the shot there, boom, and you can see him react. All right, so let's add our red X. So let's go to the spot where Luke gets hit, right there, and we're gonna add another video track. We're gonna grab our red X, and we're gonna pull it down, 
and we're going to line it right at the line but it's also big and long so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very end of the clip here and we're just going to drag it and move it over to the left and then we're going to go to our filters we're going to click size and position and we're going to make it smaller and we're going to position that red x right over his chest where he gets hit and now let's play it from the beginning let's see what that looks like there's Luke there's the shot and I think that red X lasts a little bit too long for me so if you hit the control hold down the control button and push the uh, mouse wheel forward you can expand that so I can shorten out the uh, the the length of the X that shows on the screen so next what I want to do is I want to add um, a sound to the X and this is just a sound bit that I made um, from thumping a Pringles can but you can see I'm having some issues here it, which is good because all you have to do is just hit control Z and you can undo what you've done and then I grab and then I make the same mistake at the same time and what I didn't do was I didn't add an audio track so right click click audio track and now you can see our audio track here grab the PNG or excuse me the WAV file just set it down there and then all we got to do is move it to the left and it'll stop at the beginning of uh, the red X now let's go ahead and export this file so all we're gonna do is just go over here to the left we're gonna click export click YouTube export file and just click save we can type our name in click save and then here to the upper right hand corner you can see the progress and once that gets to 100% I will show you what this looks like So here's our finished exported footage, complete with uh, crosshairs, a red X, and a hit sound. So that's it, guys. Uh, just using that free video editing software called Shotcut. Link in the description where you can find it. Um, scope cams, you can get it for 99 bucks now. And I also have a link in the description where you can go get one if you like. Uh, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you like it. And uh, give me a subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And I hope to be seeing you guys in my scope. And I hope you're looking for me in your scope. And I cannot wait to see some awesome scope cam footage that you guys put up on Facebook and on YouTube. Cheers.